Yo, 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 my people, my beautiful people, it's your boy, Mickey the Great, Big Mike. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. I'm really, really happy to be back. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you, my loved ones, for accepting me back. And trust me, I'm about to give you guys a big show. Thank you, all my people. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everybody that voted for me, everybody that prayed for me, up to the fifth week, it wasn't really easy, honestly. It wasn't really easy. Thank you so much, people. I love you all, my beautiful people. It's to your guy, your favorite guy, Mickey. Mickey the Great, Big Mike. Thank you all. Hey, baby. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shirley, Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hurt. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do well. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Oh, I used to sitting on a fat, long thing. Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pots? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. Coming from Mickey the Great, that is Mickey from the Radical Pair. The love I got and still getting ish massive that is is very massive that's what you mean i love you all thanks for your support can't wait to connect with you all massively mickey i am wishing you the very best you and femi you guys are amazing dudes i wish you the best meanwhile talking about mickey talking about the radicals and their what's up their media around outside um there is something they reviewed about um the double k first of femi said He's not literally, his kind of woman is not in the house. Yes. He once said it as the kind, the likes of um, Sophia is his type. Yeah. And I also showed you guys Sophia's picture when he said that in the house. Meanwhile, um, during their interview at um, Niger FM, they were asked about um, the double K pair coming out to see that. And then at the same time, they said, literally, they were not really surprised per se. You understand? But for for Mickey, Mickey said that he just felt like they were dating that but they don't want to come out correct. But coming out to see that it was marriage, it's the one that be like, Oh wow, so he's even marriage. And for Femi, they feel like it's a cute thing to see. Seeing that double K, they are married couples and not single, you know, and because they've been telling them in the house but they refuse to accept it. So Femi said when he started noticing more that they have been suspecting them before, but when he get, started getting more suspicious, he said Maybe we might be seeing something else about Cassia. He said Cassia is a very stubborn girl. That he's a stubborn girl. That he she likes chasing guys that are stronger than her, bigger than her. That she likes Wahala. And we've seen that happen countless times. We've seen how roughly she plays with some of these dudes, you know. Even with Ben, you know, and whatnot. She likes playing rough plays, yes. So, um, Femi revealed that she's a very stubborn girl. Not like she's trying to drag her, no. Like in a funny way, yeah. So, he said that. So, one day, himself and Kesia was playing. And Kesia mistakenly used whether he stick to touch Femi's chest. Femi said the way Kelly Ray reacted gave him a sign that there is something to this. That even when Toby Forge was in the house, because Toby Forge was always with Kesia on disturbing Kesia, that he would look out through Kelly Ray's reaction that there is something there and Kelly Ray do not really like Toby Forge during that period. So it was really glaring, but you cannot just say what you're not sure of in the house, but coming outside to see this, it's actually giving what it was giving in the house so that was what they said about the double k meanwhile i miss hearing this from ebuka revealing to this housemate about the double k what these fans have done on the social streets and uh, wow i love the tension it brings to the housemates when ebuka reveal it meanwhile guys this is nay yet again nay of the ndini pair each time nay is trying to get fans be like wow nay so you possess all of this thingy why did you not show us this part baby girl 
like why did you know she was this part you really look amazing you really look sweet like guys she actually modeled this for ash locks and fans were like saying a lot to her they were like Nini, what is going on you know meanwhile let's read this one i'm from amara Obioha. amara says congratulations Nini. it pay me say you didn't let us experience this side of you in the house and then she replied and said i didn't spend enough time in the house unfortunately i was getting there that is one thing i will keep on telling to any housemate that is going to be do not wait for a time to start showing us showcase yourself regardless you do not need to start counting oh in week three you will start doing this in week four no ways start from the first day you enter that house and start showing yourself the second day dress needs look good look sweet you are actually selling off yourself to the world you are marketing yourself to the world so keeping it for later when you're not even sure of your stay in the house doesn't really make sense to me so seeing it with all of this you know dressing all the swag looking so spank with sweet makeup almost you choke right so it's so sweet to see meanwhile they're busy doing their thing outside that is all the matters they were with uh, what's her name chef chef gold that is dummy of the time he paired the other time so you know she's a chef so the indian nipe actually came to her kitchen as a guest to prepare one of the Ndanambara favorite delicacy that is Ofeo Numu bitter leaf soup. Yes, yes. So they prepared it together. I'm like, that's sweet to know to see how those housemates are cooperating. Talking about the housemates, let's talk about the current housemates. The social chart is out. And guess what? Some of your faves made it to top 10. Let's see some of them. So we have number one or two and all for them. So Victoria is sitting pretty on number three. Anita sitting pretty on number four. We have Kesia on number six. Nina, that is Nelly, number seven. We have Christopher Bassi, that is Tofar, on number eight. And then this is Sean, number nine. And then we have Kingsley Sile on number 10 that is kelly ray so these are your faves that made it to top 10 automatically this name i just mentioned you know victoria anita kesia nelly um but uh, was the name tofar sean and kelly ray they made the top 10 that means they are the ones who actually have the most talk about personality or whatever this week and then for the from 10 to 25 we can see handy sitting pretty on 25 while onyeka appeared number 16 hmm oh see my baby lay my pansy on number 15 the lilies you guys are really trying and then we have wani sitting pretty on number 14 wow okay okay that means sean appeared on top 10 okay 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 but wani appeared number 14 hmm any which ways, guys, this was how your faves appeared on this week's social charts. We've had the top 10, and these are the from 11 to 25. A few of your faves are also there. Wani, um, Unyeka, and then Handy. Yes. Okay, guys, Um, let's talk about the cis mans. So, there's too many people who have really been saying sweet things about them, how adorable they look, especially for this picture. You know, they were actually trending it on the social space that this two really passed for a sister and whatnot. Now, talking about those two, there are different gists from their parts. We are going to be handling them bit by bit. Do not worry, Miss Shesley Mimi got you. Just sit back, relax, let's dive in. I would start with Casey so last night Casey was having this conversation with the hobby about how fake Onyeka is so she said that Onyeka is actually faking friendship with Wani ex Handy just because of their fan base and she told her hobby that I am not just saying this thing based on hearsay or trying to assume things not assumptions you understand that Onyeka literally told her according to Casey Casey was telling the hobby that Onyeka told her that She's actually doing all of this thing and like getting closer to the twins because of their fan base is actually a huge one. And also she told her that her strategy is to poke nose on people's business. And then she was telling the hobby that I told you that when whatever I tell you is the truth, I told you from the onset that Onyeka friendship to these girls are not pure. Because tell me why um, 
the twin says something about you and Sean and all you do is started telling other people you did not go straight to them to have the convo with them and she now cited herself and Victoria as an example and said that imagine me have hearing that Victoria said a thing about me instead of going straight to Victoria and I start going from Tom, Dick and Harry to have the conversation so they were just discussing about them and guess what the netizen started dragging Kesia because of that let's see this from Toots Kesia and Kelly, I beg on arrest. Onyeka giving you restless night. Onyeka the bad user. Kesia talking about Onyeka. I think her own strategy is talking about Onyeka all day, aside hiding her marriage and stealing kids from her husband. This married woman obsession with Onyeka, it's weird or more. You love the ultimate spice girl, do you, madam, and rest? No friendship is favoring Onyeka. Focus on your game, make she handle her game. Why are you worried? So they were just coming for Kesia because. Kelly was like, last, last, everybody is using each other in one way or the other, either for good or the other way. That when everyone comes outside of the house, then we will know who is who. That was what Kelly Ray was saying. So they were having this convo while some people were happy, like the one year Sandy fans were hyping Kesia. But at the other hand, the Unica fans were coming for her. They're like, baby girl, you mind your business a little. Like a little, little, like a little, mind your business because why is Onyeka, Onyeka's name all over your mouth, you never liked her, is she your strategy and whatnot. So they were just calling out on Kesia and people were like, you see this parrot, I, I don't know why I call this parrot carrot, oh my god. <laughs> Please, if you hear me calling parrot carrot, just take it like that for free, I beg, not just slip of tongue because I don't understand. So they were like, the parrot is going to reveal a whole lot. Okay, Onyeka's baby says, this married woman's, okay, it's well though, okay, I think I've read this one. Kesia genuinely likes Wani X Handy. I want to see their friendship grow either inside or outside. Hmm, even me at a point, I wanted to, this thing Kesia was saying about Onyeka, at the point I wanted to say, why is Kesia following Wani X Handy about? At one time she actually made peace with them. I was like, free them, do your thing. Nothing to clock here, Onyeka openly tells anyone who cares to listen her strategy. She actually tells you her moves. CR7 says, please, what did Onyeka steal from Cass? Because where is all this coming from? Imagine if Onyeka was not in this house, who would they be gossiping about? Kelly and Kesia, play your game. Stop analyzing Onyeka's game. She is constantly switching strategy. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Kesia. Her fans kept on saying Wani was discussing their faith. Meanwhile, now she they hug their matter everywhere. You want to be friends with them because them get huge fan base. Now, wow, if I see you drag Wani again, it will be on site. All right, um, this person says, Kesia has a very weird energy and subtle aggression towards Onyeka. And it's so funny when I watch their conversation because Onyeka doesn't care at all. I don't know if she sees it. And then Kim Nana said, all the housemates has wet energy and is aggressive towards Onyeka. I also noticed Biggie and some ninjas are jealous of her jet ski. Even Ebuka wanted her, but she said she doesn't want sheep. Can we rest now? I hope you guys do not take this particular comment serious. So, because this person is just trying to, you know, just make peace to rain and be like, okay, we're here. And then Debbie says... You want to win a fan base that has Ile Baye supporters, Lakon supporters, Fina supporters, Tacha Mercy, in fact, all Warrior supporters. This must be a joke. Just give up that money is married. Hmm. Anyways, you cannot say all of this peeps name you just mentioned. You cannot tell me that all your fans is standing the double K. Meanwhile, let's shift over to um, Reni Zion. That is Victoria. Seeing how Nelly, who even have Suj and Anita, nest by her, her side, breaks down, they must applaud Victoria. She's indeed the toughest woman. I can believe Victoria has been in that house confined alone with no emotional support she must be strong there is just something about that house so this is Rene Zion hyping Victoria for being strong regardless you know knowing that Nelly cried during her diary session despite having her own people in the house and then the curious Kimmy says Victoria if I don't win I would like to see Sean win I know in this house he has my back 100% so this particular thing Victoria said to Big Brother during her diary session has got people talking they feel like there is something something deep with Victoria and Sean that we really need to know because with all of this thing that is going on they don't they are not really close in the house they were not the closest pair in fact their their, their pair were the only shaking pair that their pair was shaking in the house yet Victoria is saying Sean is the only trusted person she has in the house isn't that interesting
Coming from Bebe, Sean has successfully convinced her he is the only one on her side, even planting seed about Kesia who has been there for her. But you know the funny thing, no matter how we try to talk about Sean and Victoria, the cocoa of the matter is these two were the ones who chose themselves to come into this house. And if she does not tr trust her pair, who else do you think she would trust? That's the thing. He has his back 100% in that house. Why? Sean and Victoria are hiding big secrets. Are they not in a relationship from outside the BBN house? So people have been questioning and asking this. Maybe when they come out, we'll find out ourselves if they will tell us anything at all. But if they don't, it's, it's literally their business. It no concern us. Our own is to just be watching and see whatever is going on with this housemate. We cannot add up for them. We cannot force them to tell us things. Yeah? That's just it. Anyway, trace guys, me, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here. And now, to see you guys later, please feel free to tell me what you think about all of the shenanigans going on. Bye for now, babies.